Hi, this is Becky Dvorak. Today, let's talk about the power of our words. In Proverbs 18.21, it says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they who indulge in it shall eat the fruit of it for death or for life. That's Proverbs 18.21. When it comes to healing, we need to change our words the way in which we speak, because every word that we speak, whether we're being serious or whether even when we're joking, our words are either producing life or they're producing death. Listen to the words that you speak sometimes. You'll be amazed when you put attention to your words, what actually is coming out of your mouth. Every situation we live in today is a result of words that we have spoken yesterday or the day before. What The words that we have been speaking are affecting us today. And so, a wise person will take hold of this message and they will listen to what they speak and they will pray for help from the Holy Spirit to learn how to speak words of faith that produce what they have need of. If we need healing in our bodies, and that's what this channel is about, healing and miracles, we need to speak words that produce health, healing, strength. Means we need to, to take a hold of our tongue and just like twist it into submission to the word of God that says there is the power of life and death in the tongue. Whatever you are speaking it will produce in your life. If you say of yourself that you are always sick and tired, guess what you're going to be? You are going to be sick and tired. If you say of yourself that you are a poor man, guess what you're going to be? You are going to be a poor man. If you, as a parent, say to your child, you'll never amount to anything, you know what? That's a very low goal for them to meet. And they will not amount to anything. So what do we do when we have been speaking such negative words and words of death over our own physical bodies or of those around us? What do we need to do? Number one, we need to repent. I know that the word repentance is like a dirty word now in the church. Why? It's just, that's just a... That's just an act of Satan because there's power in repentance. And so today, let's just pray right now. Father God, in Jesus' name, forgive me for every negative, faithless word that has been coming out of my mouth. I repent of this and I ask Holy Spirit, I ask you for your help. Help me to listen to what is coming out of my mouth. And I ask you to teach me, lead me, guide me into the truth of the word that says there's the power of life and death in my tongue. In every word that I speak, help me. Help me to change my vocabulary to a vocabulary of faith that is well-pleasing to you and that produces healing, strength, and health in my physical body today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.